Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com with more of those dating secrets to help you pry open a man's <laughs> often walled off heart. Today we're going to talk about three reasons why men won't commit to you. Now there's a great lyric from an old 80s rock song that just, it sticks in my mind to, my mind to this day. It's, when the heart rules the mind, one look and love is blind. It's a romantic and it's actually a fairly accurate observation. But does the heart ever rule the mind when it comes to men? Why does it seem like he won't let his heart win when it comes to committing to your relationship? Now, there's been so much speculation on why men won't commit to you even after he's fallen for you. I need to put an end to this and explain to you the real reason why men won't commit. I get tired of hearing all the women's magazines theories as to why men don't commit that I felt it, I had to set the story straight a little bit here. First, let's get rid of some of the myths about why men won't commit. Myth number one for why men won't commit is bad timing. Really? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Would you ever turn down a promotion and a raise at work because you, you needed to wait for the timing to be right for the right promotion? Would you turn down a delicious seafood dinner because you'd rather eat in a half hour? Sorry, but that lobster would be calling me. Has there ever really been a bad time to drink water to keep yourself hydrated and alive? You see, my point is this. If something is truly good, you'll make it work out for you. It's the way it works. If he sees that this relationship is really as great as it should be for him to commit to you, right? If he sees that, would he really deprive himself of having you just because of timing? I mean, if someone offers you a $250 meal at a superb restaurant, you'll jump on it in a heartbeat, even if you just had supper, right? If it was McDonald's, well, then maybe you could wait. Well, maybe you maybe look too much a little bit like McDonald's to him right now. You see, the truth is that men see relationships as being in one of three stages. Number one is not having sex yet. Number two is having sex. And number three is getting intimate and serious, aka committed. Now, if he won't go from stage two to stage three with you, he's into the sex, but there's something about taking it to the next level that doesn't appeal to him. And it's not a general fear of emotion or commitment either. I know that this confirms many women's suspicions that they need to believe that all men are broken in this way, but it's simply not true. And if I don't set the record straight for you, you might never know what really stops you from getting the love you deserve. You need to know what signal you're giving off that he's misreading and fix it so that he sees you as the prize you believe to be. Well, there is a place where this timing does get in the way, and that's if he's in a very particular stage in life. And I'll, I'm going to explain that one in a little bit. Next up, though, is myth number two for why men won't commit. Work is just crazy. Bzz, sorry. Men only give up quality time with their girl for work when work seems like a better way to spend his time. But the scary thought you might be entertaining is that uh, you might be making him feel that way, isn't it? You could be afraid you're pushing him away and he's retreating into his work. Thankfully, however, this isn't usually the case. Human beings usually only spend time on those things we truly want to be doing at any given moment. There's a time in a man's life when his work will take priority over you, usually when he's trying to provide for you. But by far the most fantastic reason for not committing to you that I hear is the next one. Myth number three for why men won't commit. The relationship is so amazing, it scares him. <laughs> this one is right up there with the denial reason, I'm too good for him. Otherwise known as, he doesn't deserve me. Okay, proclaiming that you're better than him and that this is a reason that he won't commit to you is kind of ridiculous. And it's a defense mechanism, it's not a reason. If he didn't want to date you for any reason, you're playing the I'm going to jack up my self-esteem card with this kind of reasoning is asking for trouble down the road. Guys don't leave relationships because they fall into a pit of despair over how far short he falls from your grace. Men simply don't deprive themselves of love. He's not scared of all that love and juicy affection you've got. It's another irrational and illogical rationalization. What he does fear is settling for an average relationship when he knows he could keep looking for a fantastic one. I know, I know, you're a fantastic woman that would make his life something extraordinary and make him happy for the rest of his life. But are you showing that to him? Ah, therein lies the rub, as Shakespeare said. But now we've reached the ultimate myth about why men don't commit. Myth number four, why he won't commit to you. Commitment phobia. Sounds pretty scary, huh? 
After all, if there's a reason a man wouldn't want to stay in a relationship with you, it's got to be because he's a horn dog with an inability to commit. Uh, and he's also got deep-seated emotional issues that label him as not only immature, but as a borderline narcissist. Yeah, that's what all the women's magazines say anyways. Yeah, that was supposed to be sarcastic, by the way. <laughs> the problem with that whole concept is that it's just not true. Very few men are commitment phobic. Men don't fear committing. We do it all the time. From the car we buy, yeah, we committed to that, didn't we? To the, the career we chose, yep, another commitment. To the house we chose or the apartment we chose, we do commit. You see, we don't fear commitment, ladies. What we fear is entrapment and emasculation. There is a big difference here, and I'll explain it to you now as we get into the three real reasons men won't or don't commit. Real reason number one that he won't commit is he sees a scary pattern. The scary pattern is, of course, this. Number one, he started dating you and things were great. Then, number two, things got serious and he was still okay. Three, until you started to change from the cool chick he started dating into this, uh, well, rather neurotic mess that he needs that needs to know, where is this going? What do you feel for me? How do you feel about me? What do you think about me? Then number four, you became somebody different, somebody not quite as fun to be around when all you could do is focus on getting your needs met. Now, please listen to me. There is nothing wrong with you getting your needs met. There's nothing wrong with any of that. The problem comes up because you put your needs on hold and then hid them from him too long. And then you try to uh, look like the person you thought he was looking for, a woman who had no demands of him, which is not realistic, is it? Until you realize you couldn't play that act anymore and you probably freaked out. Now here's a little shocker about men. We know you want us to make a commitment eventually. We already know this. We're not dumb. If we were truly afraid of that, we'd never get married or jump into a relationship in the first place. We just want you to want us as much as you want this imaginary idea of commitment. Don't chase the status or the engagement ring so much that you forget about the man. Make sense? Now that leads me to why he won't make that commitment to you. Reason number two, he's not falling in love. He's being pushed into a commitment. You see, when you try to force a man to do anything, he will run in the opposite direction fast. Trying to force a guy to commit puts him under extreme emotional pressure. I get it. You do this because he seems to be taking forever. But he's just trying to enjoy spending time with you, not hit some grandiose title of committed man. When a man feels pressured and obligated to do something, he's going to associate those bad feelings with you too. So just take a step back, breathe deep, and realize that the only way to motivate him really is to uh, to get him to commit to you anyways is by dropping the fixation you have with commitment. Do that and you'll actually get that commitment. I mean, I get it. You're trying to get rid of that nagging sense of insecurity about the relationship, but guess what? Even after you get to the next official stage of devotion, whatever that may be, you'll just find new things to be insecure about a few days later. It's a hollow accomplishment to seek some kind of definite when it comes to relationships, let alone the imaginary state of committed. Look, chances are the guy you're with is already committed to you. You just don't know it. There's nothing official or binding about the status of committed. It's just an idea in your head. The only thing you ever have that's a sure thing when you're together is enjoying the time you have together with each other. And even that is fleeting. He'll actually want to be in a long-term exclusive relationship with you if he feels that it's something you're on the road to accomplishing, not running to catch or to you know, achieve this, this goal. Instead of obsessing over a title or a grand gesture of commitment, I would focus a little bit more on enjoying the quality of time you actually spend with each other. That's what a man pays attention to in a relationship. He pays attention to how he feels when he's with you and if it's a good time. And now we finally have real reason your guy won't commit to you. Number three, you're trying to be the imaginary woman he will commit to. Most women spend far too much time trying to be the woman he wants instead of being the woman they are. And then watching to see which men find her attractive. You'll never be the perfect goddess that attracts any and all men to you. It's, it's a narcissistic delusion to think that it's possible. But most women know that they can be the woman almost any man wants simply by not trying to be someone else. 
As Oscar Wilde once said, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. He'll instantly want to lock you in when he sees that most of the time, you're the woman that not only makes himself feel good about himself, but you genuinely enjoy him and the time you have together. No one runs to hide from the person who makes them feel good about themselves. Think about that for a minute. Oh, by the way, here's the complete lyric from that song I mentioned before. The, it's like a final thought that the whole thing communicates, and it's actually a really good message for any woman. When the heart rules the mind, one look and love is blind. If you want the dream to last, take a chance, forget the past. And if you'd like to discover the rules of the heart and how to rule his mind, check out this video on the secrets of being truly irresistible to men. Once you learn how to activate a guy's built-in attraction mechanism in his head, his heart won't be far behind, and then you won't have to worry about making him want to commit to you. He'll do that all on his own, willingly. So go on over to datingadviceguru.com, that's datingadviceguru.com, slash irresistible. datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. And watch the video and learn about what it really takes to be the irresistible woman that pretty much every man desires. This is Carlos Cavallo. I hope you got something out of this little lesson today, and I'll be talking again next time.